Hey y'all, welcome back to my channel. Ellery here, dressed for success. Well, not success, I'm dressed for kids programming. Yoshi has an improv show today at uh, one of the schools. She auditioned for it and you could either get a major role or a side role, she got a major role. Oh my God, my baby is an improv queen. So that's at six. I'm about to go to the store real quick and then I gotta pick her up and take her to another school uh, cause she's at some after school. I don't even know where she at right now cause she asked me for $5 this morning because that's how much it costs to get in a little party after school. And I was like, I ain't got it, baby. And she started crying when she got the car. I was like, what you want me to do? And she didn't get paid this week for her chores. So it was kind of like tough love. You ain't got no money, sis. You can't go. But um, she made something happen. I'm sure she probably borrowed some money from somebody and said she was on Apple Fan because I ain't heard from her. And it's well after school. So I kind of knew this was going to happen. I'm not worried about her because she would call me. She has a phone if I was late. So I pick her up in like an hour to take her to another school and I'm just stay there and be there 30 minutes early, get a good seat, be on my phone, scroll a little bit until the show starts. Then I'm gonna take her to get some Mexican after cause I'm hungry, I only had three eggs today and it's 4.30, starved. And it is Friday, but it's hella windy outside. Like if I was quiet long enough, you'd be able to hear the gusts of wind. But tomorrow is supposed to be pretty hot, so I want to go sleeveless tomorrow, baby. I don't know if it's going to be shorts or what, but my skin is going to be out because they said it was going to be like 80. Let me check. Let me check real quick. Okay, today, right now, it says 67, but look at all these little wind little emojis right there or whatever you call that. Saturday went down to 74, and then Sunday is going to be hot. So I'm going outside, whether it's by myself or not. I'm not calling nobody because some people did tell me that this weekend they were going to celebrate my birthday since they didn't go to Mexico and I didn't get no calls. So I'm not calling. But if somebody calls, I'm going to be receptive. I'm not replacing my friends. I just need new ones because the energy level is low. You pouring to me, I'll pour to you. All right, let's go outside real quick. All right, this is what we got from the liquor store, the usual, the kettle one. Me compo. I was trying to get some Tario, but they didn't have any. Hennessy. You're very special. And then there was a black lady in there. She said this is a black owned pecan liqueur, 30%, 60 proof. It's very sweet to me. It has like cinnamon and obviously pecan. It tastes like something you drink over Thanksgiving, but she said her husband mixes it with like tequila and stuff. So I'm gonna try to mix it to see if it kicks off some of that sweetness, even though she said there's no sugar or additives in it. So I'm gonna try to play around with it. But when I taste it by itself, it tastes like if you like crown apple and um, honey jack, it's like giving those vibes. I had a bad summer with both of those guys, so um, we haven't seen each other in a while. So I'm gonna drink tequila today just because I'm going to the Mexican store, uh, Mexican store, Mexican restaurant when I leave. You see, I changed to silver so I can wear my shades. You know, it's hella windy outside, so I had to coordinate. But Zara is ready, she just called me. Let's go pick her up and uh, she better put on a show, okay? All right, Eos just got out the car. I'm gonna wait here for like 15 minutes because it's 30 minutes till the show starts. My sister is supposed to be coming, which Zara doesn't know because I kind of just told my sister yesterday as well as my mom. Cause I'm not in the habit of like telling people when Zara has like shows and stuff. Cause I just be figuring like they busy, they got stuff to do, they ain't coming into the school. But I was like, let me give them the option to choose. So yesterday, late notice, I told them that she had a show. My mom, who if you guys know anything about my mom, which you guys don't, because I probably don't talk about her a lot, besides the fact that she owns Thick Ash Cigar with my stepdad in Noonan. Visit it. Um, she also has a nonprofit, and she does a lot. Like, she goes to every event in Noonan that you can think of. Like, she's always outside, but outside networking. She's like, I wish I had her traits. I feel like I have some like leadership traits, but not like I'm gonna go to this business, this business, this business, and like talk and get sponsored. Like, I'm not that deep in it. I just have like ideas and I try to execute them. If they fail, they fail. She don't take fail as an option, bro. She has a women's conference coming up on May 4th. It's sold out, baby. No more spots. Like she has a waiting list for it. And I'm like, wow, I wasn't expecting that. I don't even know what to say. I haven't spoken on a panel in like, seven years so that's coming up she has hella sponsors for that every store in the city she got a sponsor for it. then she has another event coming up in june it is a it's called besties in blanc she's doing that with my auntie Roz, who's also 
which is very strange. In Aries, same birthday as me, but she's just like my mom. Like she's hella organized. She gets shit done. She's a planner. She executes perfectly. I don't know where I missed that memo, but I don't have that trait. Like I don't have that um, be in front of people's face all the time trait, asking them for stuff trait. Like I don't even ask nobody to um, help me get nothing off the top shelf. You know what I'm saying? So that's coming up in June. That's not sold out. So I'll put it, I don't know if she has a link, but if she does, I'll put it right here. But it's just a way to get, especially in Noonan. If you know anything about Atlanta, you know Noonan is like the outskirts and they don't have no nightlife. They just got one liquor store, like I think last year. They didn't, it's nothing popping out there. So the fact that my mom is trying to have events out there is it's great for the city and for her because she's gonna make money regardless because ain't nothing to do out there. But yeah. Those, those are the goals, those are the plans. Um, All right, I just pulled up with my shooter. We ain't in no game, but we got shooters and we bang. <laughs> or whatnot or whatever. Ain't nobody here yet, but we here. We voted, we gave $5, but it's like we got competition. We got hella competition, because the show ain't even started yet. Somebody had 20 votes. How do you think you know he gonna do that good? It's kind of like, I feel like this should collect it as you go. Not like before you get here. And it's just like where this family show up and got money. It would be like a hundred on Jacob. Jacob. Only got five dollars. So you know what I'm saying? I just feel like it's politics. Mm -hmm. But it's all good because every time she come out, what are we gonna do? Woo! Ain't nobody in here, but that's what we gonna do. I think there are people in here so that wasn't a little embarrassing, but you know what? That's just what we're gonna do when she come out. That's gonna be her vote. And everybody gonna be like, damn, she only had five dollars. She's the winner, clearly. And then they're gonna be like, okay, Lou Jacob had $150 for the star, right? She ate it up. You ate it up. Period. So hopefully she does do good though. Oh, somebody wanna get it popping up in here. He said he wanna play music. What about premium? I do have Spotify Premium, but I'm gonna be playing Beyonce. <laughs> <laughs> I ain't no this game, but I got shooters and out. <laughs> well, I think he really might do it if he does. He still takes his. Ain't no hold on. Stick around, round, 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 round. Park your Lexus. Throw your keys at me. I thought she had words. I don't know the whole song. Go around, round, 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 round. Come on. Yeah. 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 All right, we're about to go in the Mexican spot. It is loud. I can hear the music bumping out here. So probably not going to be able to record inside. She's a little emotional because things didn't go exactly how she wanted them to. But I said she still did good for her first improv. She got to relax. Be a professional. Do what? Put your head up. We're about to go in here and eat real good. It's Friday night, baby. I'm in a good mood. So we're going to keep the party going. So who's going to take my bet? $4? You do it for a dollar? I'll do it for a dollar. She looks like no. You gotta eat the whole thing and then pour it out. I think the green part? No, just the onion. It's good, huh? It's good, ain't it? She didn't even make no face. Did you like it? Look at she's still eating it. There's a little one now, Lee, on it. No, it's not the same. And it's smaller. Y'all like it. Let me find out y'all like onions. I do like it. why did she take it back? You want to take a bite for a dollar? I'll do it for a dollar. I ain't got a pepper. I'll do it for a dollar. Well, what won't you do for a dollar? Oh, you better not do nothing strange for no change. But what about me? Girl, you already got a dollar, you can get another dollar. Relax. Oh, it smells like huh? it. It gotta be a dollar bite. It gotta be a dollar bite. I'll be the judge. 
Maybe it's a little bite. No, no, no. Like, see this right here? Oh, that is not no dollar bite. That's a dollar bite. You see what that little piece is? That's a dollar bite. That's a dollar bite. You might want to know. Oh, you don't like it? Ooh. You still want to do it? Girl, she is so thirsty for some money. Look at it. Oh, it's spicy. Oh, she dying, Zara. Are you sure you want to do it? Oh, it's not. Oh, you had a lot of things. Oh, my God. Yes. <laughs> you got to chew it up or you not going to get your dollar. Everybody's looking. They think that. Stop coughing, bro. I need milk. Good job, ladies. You did one bet because you were a um, scaredy kid. I did two. No, the first one you just ate it to eat. I said you had to eat the big onion and you ate the small onion. And y'all both messed up with onions. I I. Look, she's still on fire. <laughs> Wow, what a day. Get out of the camera because you ain't got nothing. It's 6.50, y'all. I didn't vlog all day because I didn't do nothing all day. Me and Zara woke up at 12. Then we watched uh, TV for a couple hours. I didn't start getting ready till 4. I'm going to meet my sisters. Um, since I didn't get to celebrate with them on my birthday, we're just meeting up, having a little... Well, not a cocktail because one's pregnant and the other one gets sick every time she drinks. So we're just going outside to this place we've never been to before. And then I'm probably going to meet up with some people later because I'm already outside. I'm sad it's taking me this long to get outside, but you know, fashionably late. Let me show you the little, um, the outfit. I don't even know if this will go together, but I changed my mind about wanting to wear heels. So I had to throw on a hat so that my shoes would kind of make sense. I don't even know if what I just said makes sense, but okay. Got the hat, shirt. I was supposed to wear this last night in Mexico, but we never went out. Jeans, bag, shoes. It's looking like we didn't really try, but we did. Um, my sister's on the way. We're gonna be there shortly and hopefully have a great time. I'm home clearly. We had a good time. We were out for a good time, not a long time. We were supposed to go somewhere after because um, it's also my other friend's birthday, who's also Aries, big Aries energy. Her birthday was today, and she met some people that they were hopping spot to spot with. It was almost like we were too expensive, and he tried to shake us at the last spot because we were supposed to go to the next spot and he didn't give us the address, just told us to follow him. And he was Vin Diesel on the freeway. Like, I didn't know that you could fly a car. So we all ended up going home, as we should, because we all tired anyway. It's two o'clock. I'm about to eat some food, shower and go to bed. Tomorrow, I'm supposed to take Yosh and Nyla to Trillith. It's gonna be hot. So definitely a shorts day. We're gonna go outside, hang out, some girly time, and um, have a little Sunday fun day, which I don't understand. I'm not looking forward to it because y'all know I don't like to do nothing on Sunday, especially after a Saturday night out. I'm hoping like when I wake up in the morning, I'll be okay. So we will see. Good night. Buenas noches. <laughs> Good afternoon. Me and Yosh are getting getting dressed. We're gonna bring some board games. Just have a little Sunday fun day outside because the weather is great. I hope it's not too hot because that would kind of ruin everything. But I'm also gonna tell them finally, oh, I'm not gonna say it out loud because she's probably listening. If you wanna find out what we do, then watch Yoshi's channel tomorrow. But we're still gonna have fun. We're gonna do other stuff besides that. I think my sister says she may come bring the kids. So that would be such a treat. I was gonna get them myself, but I didn't wanna share um, the girls' surprise and Callie's not included because she's not old enough to do what they're gonna be able to do. So Callie is one to let you know what is on her mind. She will have a straight attitude. You know, 
the girl got a mouth in her and she's not like to be played with. And if I don't have a surprise for her, she can't come. She gotta come after. So, yeah, that's the plan for today. I spent all that time on my hair yesterday and I did not like how it turned out. Like, that's why I wore a hat yesterday. So I have to be creative today because I'm gonna have to wear a headband or a hat or something or something. All right, so let me get dressed. Nyla is either gonna get dropped off or I'm gonna pick her up on the way. So once we're all dressed and ready, we're gonna start our Sunday fun day. See, I was last night with the ratchet people, and tonight I'm with the kids. Today I'm with the kids. You know what I'm saying? You gotta, you gotta uh, balance. You know the ratchet and the mothering. You know, gotta be spread out. You feel me? All right. I was trying to get there closer. It's two. It's three. We're bringing two games. We're gonna get something to eat. Just chill. I'm bringing a little speaker. And we're just gonna have some girl time. We don't gotta be doing a whole lot of, lot of hoopla, loopla um, to have a good time. We're just bonding, spending time. Uh, QT, you know what I'm saying? <laughs> QT with the QTs. <laughs> Can I get an amen? Amen. <laughs> Thank you. A little late, but I got it. Yeah, about to go pick up Nyla. I just texted her, told her we're on the way. Is it too long? I don't know, she hasn't hit me, so I don't know, but we shall see when we get there. Say ye. We made it, y'all, and it's not even crowded. We got a little spot in the shade. I don't know why you picked that specific spot, which is very weird because it was a girl rolling around in the chair right by the blanket, Look, and you just plotted right there. Right I'm just saying, like, she was literally, like, see this little red chair down there and that blanket on the ground? There was a girl swirling in that red chair like she was at Six Flags. And Nala said, this is the perfect spot. <laughs> We're about to order some food first before we start playing. I also brought a speaker, so the, the clear people might be a little upset with me. I'm gonna keep it, maybe I'll let you pick a playlist. They might be more happier with your selection. What is that supposed to mean? You don't listen to ratchet music. I do. So you will serve your community well. What? <laughs> oh, did you say hi? She got a sweater on. I'm not. If you look, if I pan around so you guys can see everything else everybody has on, it's shorts, tank tops. Um, some people are playing in the water, sprinklers, kids are wet, and she has on a sweater. Zara had on long sleeves, black shirt, and jeans. And I was just <laughs> like, wow, you guys. At least I knew to wear shorts, and this is crawl. So technically. What if we sat in the sun? You you cool now because we in the shade, but if there was no shade over here, you'd be dying. That's I that I made her get. I made her bring a shirt, because I said, can you take that sweater off? Need be, you dying? She said no. And I said, that's a problem. You gotta go back in the hills, because. We're not leaving early because y'all outside like, oh, mom, mom, it's so hot. I'm dying, mom. Please, another gelato, please. Nah. <laughs> 10 hours later, finally got our simple food. We were hangry, but we didn't cause a fuss, right? We kept it classy. A little side eye, that's all. Just a little side eye, not a big one. My ice cream is very good, okay. She has some ice cream. She has some ice cream now. How do you like that salted caramel? That's salted caramel and vanilla bean. Very busting. Oh, oh, you got vanilla nips? bean. That's why. When she's swirling into like a milkshake, yeah. it just tastes like vanilla. Yeah. It's very yummy. It has that little salted caramel residue. 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 That doesn't sound good. You shouldn't say residue. What do you mean? We're about to play either Uno or Sorry. She wants to play Uno. She wants to play Sorry. So y'all got a roll What do you want to play? Oh, okay. oh, no, see, I don't like it. I'm joking. Oh, no, because she said that. What? Come on, it's the best friend. Oh, yeah. That's my love, yeah. Love, 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 I think we're going on these sneakers. <laughs> Am I right? Am I right? Did you see what? what? I'm, I'm going she said to again? flatten her face. <laughs> she just did a high kick over like the corner of this. Don't come near me no more, baby. I, I, when it comes to other people's kids that ain't my kids, 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 
And then they be rude at that. Like, I don't like that. that why These kids is really being very rude. Face. They stepping on my, my blanket, <laughs> so jumping over it us. Was. Like, don't play with me like that. I'm trying to be good. It's Sunday. Anyways, what is the wager? Like, what happens if I win? <laughs> you win. You win. Bragger's right. I'm looking for no problem. Bragger's I don't right. never get nothing for winning, bro. Bragger's right. Like, what do you want? High five? My cup I want some respect around here. Bragger's right. All right, I'll update you on when I win. So as y'all can see, I'm home. Girl, what's that? She almost was home. She didn't make it home. <laughs> she didn't even leave the house yet. Like she was. No, she... <laughs> oh, that didn't look like that a while ago. Yeah, I won. Like I said, I would because that's what that's what winners do. They win and then they like move on to the next to the next goal. So, anyways. We're gonna play one more game. Of this? No. I don't want to beat y'all twice in a row. I'm trying to have y'all have some confidence. Oh, sorry. But it was a good game. Winner's gonna win, baby. <laughs> Yoshi won Uno. She won Uno. I won. Sorry. It looks like it was a fair game. And why are you looking like that? She won Uno. She did. She won the first round. Didn't she? Yes, I did. She won the first oh, round. You won the second round. round. We all won. We're all leaving winners. Like, look at God. Now we about to go home. I don't know about dinner because it's kind of like already. Oh, pizza. Exactly. Your mom should be home by now, right? No. Oh, well. No, Shawty's always outside. Shawty like, always outside. I mean, we have a hard job. Like, when we can get a fresh breath of fresh air outside, we're going to do that. But... I took y'all outside today, like. Yeah, I'm happy about that. You're welcome. Like You're welcome. Little, fresh little breath of nature right here. Looks like it drained her. Look at her. She looks sad. You ready to go home, Shawty? Okay. Tell me for this blanket. Shawty in the back. Shawty in the back. Talking about, oh, that's a TikTok dance. <laughs> Check out my TikToks if y'all want to see the dance me and Nala did. <laughs> Alrighty. Everybody is dropped off either at their house or in their bed. I already took my shower. It's 1030. So I want to get a good night's rest tonight. Let's see what I have for this week. Um, uh, nothing tomorrow. Tuesday I have to do Yoshi's hair. I have to straighten it. Wednesday she has acting class. Thursday she goes with her dad. She has a whole field trip uh, this weekend, which is why I'm straightening her hair so she can easily manage it while she's on her little overnight trip. As far as I'm concerned, I don't have anything I can think of besides a lash appointment. Probably just getting some things in order for Yoshi's birthday and some house cleaning. And I was debating if I was gonna show y'all, but I have to organize my makeup room, but I didn't know if I wanted to film it because the way it looks right now is so like, it's kind of embarrassing, but I'm gonna show y'all tomorrow because I'm gonna start getting that organized and finally taken care of because it's starting to like, you'll understand tomorrow, but it's getting out of control. I'm sure things will come up beforehand as they always do, but I'm just focused on what I gotta focus on. Give me a good nice rest, tackle this week. And I had a great weekend, I had a great day. If you follow me on TikTok, I posted on TikTok. Uh, I posted on Instagram today, and I have a little makeup tutorial coming up. You know, I've been trying to be more consistent, y'all. It, it takes a lot out of me, but I'm trying to, like, post on everything, not just YouTube. And when Yoshi turns 13, she's going to get more active as well. There's some stuff I want to start with her. So it's going to start getting a little busier for me, but I welcome it because... Shit, I ain't got nothing else to do. I ain't got no, I ain't got nobody to hang out with. I ain't got, I ain't got no dates to go on. So, <laughs> might as well get to the bag if we can. <laughs> I will see y'all mañana. But it's not just. I told this girl not to wear a headband. I'm not gonna straighten your hair. What? Cause you don't listen, Zara. Didn't I say don't put a headband on it? I forgot. You no, know you didn't forget. Yes, I you did. You just do it when you get at school because no, you didn't leave. No, you didn't leave the house no. like that. Because it was in my it's the oldest trick in the book to put it, it in your in backpack, backpack and do it at school because you don't want your mom, mom to say no. Please, please, I did it all the time. Please, 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 and please, please, please. 
Please, Trayvon. I was at least smart enough to not have my mom pick me up from school. <laughs> Please, so, I'm sorry. All you're going to do is do exactly what you always do. I'm no, going to say, don't put nothing on your baby hair. You're going to come home. You're going to no, have white stuff no, in your baby hair. No, I would hair. never I'm going to say, don't put nothing straight. on your hair at when all. When straight and I never put anything You never on. listen to me, period, when I talk about your hair. I just hate having my hair up when it's just like this. I hate it. it, does, it uh, you never did before. Somebody made you say something to you now. to make you hate it. So you never hated it before. That was cool. It was good. It would be even better if you straightened my hair tonight. It would be even better if you listened. I'm sorry I'll listen. I'm sorry. Ugh. So you straight it today. Leave me alone. No, why? Y'all see? Y'all want? I don't want to see it, so I'm gonna put the camera down. Y'all see? I'm doing good. Cause what y'all don't know is, she does this all the time after school. I'll tell her not to do something with her hair, or with her clothes, or something. It's like she don't realize I'm picking her up. Like, if you gonna do something, I'm, I told you not to do. At least undo it by the time I pick you up. Like. That's what a smart non-listener would do. So, that irritated me because I keep telling her to stop wearing those headbands. You guys know I'm trying to figure out how to get my baby's hair right. The shampoos ain't working. I've used all of them. Nuzerol, um, Selsun Blue, uh, Sulfur 8, and in like two days, we back. So, the headband just makes it worse. It just dries it out faster. So, I just told her not to do that. But anyways, I'm finally about to unpack. Yeah, I've been here two weeks. My business and actually like finish like my laundry not just wash it and put it on my couch but actually like hang everything up and clean my room okay so this is what i was talking about yesterday now a little backstory my makeup room is upstairs and sometimes when i get packages i'll just open it and i'll separate what i want and what i can donate into two boxes downstairs by the tv that i mean by the uh table that's probably why you guys always see boxes by the table, I try not to show them because it'd be a mess sometimes. But then I take the stuff that I'm keeping upstairs, but I keep it in the box because I'd be like, okay, I'll put that away later. And then what happens is uh, some months go by and it builds up. So this is the second time this has happened to me where all these boxes build up in my little walkway. And last time my mom helped me put everything away, but this time I'm gonna try to do it myself. Just don't judge me because it's a mess and it's why I haven't even used a lot of new products because when I look for something I have to like go through all this stuff to find it and yeah I don't have time some time that's why I want to organize it because there's a lot of stuff in here that I really 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 want to use and I can't find it so this is where I go in to do my makeup and these are all the boxes on the side I just took those out yesterday because I was trying to get started because what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take everything out the box and over there on the carpet I'm gonna separate it for like hair uh, foundation, skincare, lashes, concealer, all that stuff. So that when I put it away into this room, these are my little makeup drawers right here. And it's like eyebrows and concealer, foundation and highlighters and pencils and lashes, palettes and shadows. Then there's lips down here. And then on this side is like all the skincare stuff. It's, 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 it's not as bad as it looks. Like I know what's in here. These are just masks and face washes. Like as long as it makes sense to me, it's not a mess, right? Anyways, a lot of this stuff needs to be pulled out because it's way past expiration. That way I can make room for all this stuff. That's actually gonna be my goal this weekend because Yoshi's gonna be gone. I don't really have any plans as of yet. I'm sure I will, but I'm gonna, after I finish like my work week, I'm gonna come in here, play some Cowboy Carter and get to separating this stuff. And hopefully by next weekend, the walkway, the walkway, not wallway, the walkway will be clear. Eventually when I save another bag, cause I, I like to save my money. So when I save enough to feel more comfortable to like spend it, I'm gonna turn this room into a closet because I've been doing my makeup in my bathroom, in my room as of late. It's not that I don't do it in here or I don't want to do it in here anymore. I just wanna make this room like more efficient, if that's what I'm looking for. So I want all this to be shelving around the whole thing and then I'll have like a little vanity in the middle. Cause right now it just looks like a little messy studio and have a nice little island right here where I have a more organized filming space. And then around the outside of it, I can have space for my closet because if and when I do get a man, Ain't no room in my closet for nobody else. So yeah, I'm looking towards the future because you know, there's still hope for me, you guys. There's still hope. Anyways, 
not pressed. I have bigger fish to fry. Starting with this room. I still got my suitcase, my shopping bags, all that's on the floor. And this room is about to be spiggity spotless. Before you can say, yeah, yeah, yeah. All right, folks, that's all for me. Just made some dinner. It's kind of like a stir fry, even though you can't see nothing. This is shrimp and veggies and peppers, and there's rice at the bottom, and a little Korean barbecue sauce on top. After this, I'm gonna go upstairs and shower. I cleaned my room, I did my laundry, baby, baby, baby. Accomplishing goals left and right. <laughs> Tomorrow, I gotta work all day and do Yoshi's hair. It's gonna be a long day. But yeah, that's all for now. Um, make sure you check out Yoshi tomorrow. Don't forget about me on Instagram, TikTok, and Snapchat. And I will see y'all next week. Until next time, love you.